Hey everybody, wanted to do a uh, shout out and a thank you shave uh, on a uh, Monday evening, getting ready for Christmas Eve tomorrow. And I finally have been waiting on this soap and splash to come. I did a collaboration. Um, most of you have seen the Heritage Collection um, Crimson and Black brush uh, with the La Bafana shave soap and La Bafana splash. And I was uh, privileged to be a part of that. And I really enjoyed the collab. And I'm going to tell you what, this is one of my... I'm gonna say one of my best soaps of the year acquisitions because uh, the scent on this thing is phenomenal. And uh, it's also uh, um, one of those scents that uh, lingers for a while too. It doesn't go away. I mean, I splash some of the uh, aftershave on at work and it stayed with me for a good two, three hours, which is not really normal. Most splashes are gone within 30 minutes to an hour if that, but this one did it hung around for a while. And it's, uh, I hope I pronounce this right and not butcher it. It's uh, Zaxo's Near Off, I believe is the knockoff that it is. I won't mess up La Bafania like some people do. But uh, it is uh, it is a phenomenal soap. And uh, the um, man behind it, um, Mikey Sarasota, and the man that put it together and made it happen, Frank Miza from uh, uh, Strike Gold Shave, uh, these guys got together and, uh, I mean, this was just a phenomenal smelling uh, just a phenomenal smeller, man. It kind of reminds me, has a little closeness to um, Mickey Lee Soap's Grand Havana, but it's got a lot of other stuff in it. I smell some of that in it, which is a, my most favorite tobacco soap, but then it's got some like lavender and uh, I think some lemon. It's got a, a really, really um, strong mix of a bunch of stuff, some honey in it. Uh, just a phenomenal, phenomenal smelling soap and uh, with all that stuff in it you would think that you might get some heat on your face and I'm one of these guys that I won't shave with some things if I get heat on the face because I don't like that it's just uncomfortable I don't like that tingly feeling and uh, this one here I was a tester I was I was privileged to be a tester of it and uh, the strength on it is incredible and we're going to shave with it and show you how it lathers so just hold tight and it lathers really really easy I mean just a great lathering soap I mean And Jen Martin, who uh, creates his soaps, uh, I think it's Decadent Bubbles. Um, she really does a great job with her uh, her base. And this is a new base. It's got uh, goat's milk in it. And uh, there's just a lot of neat things. to give it a really, really good, nice, slick lather. You know, the kind that I like. And uh, today I'm gonna be using the, um, oh gosh, it's been a crazy day. I, uh, what is the name of this uh, razor? McClure Future. No, I don't have Alzheimer's, but uh, I got so many razors, it's hard to remember them all. And I'm gonna be using the Astra uh, Superior Platinum which is a, a great razor. I find it's an easy go-to razor on anything. So we're gonna go ahead and I got it dialed in at number two. Don't really want it aggressive. So we're gonna see how this, this does. And this is the kind of razor that you just let the razor do the work for you because no need to pull and tug. You just let the weight of the razor, a lot of people are afraid of this. They call it a potato peeler because it can be aggressive, but it's a great shaver if you, if you learn how to use it. I mean, you hear it. I'm just lightly applying pressure to my face and it uh, it takes it off. I mean, and that's pretty smooth. Like a lot of guys complain, they say you can't get around the mouth. Well, just slow down. And, you know, you just saw me go around my mouth with it. And, you know, let the razor do the work. To me, I got this three Christmases ago. And uh, it was on sale. 
Mine's the gold edition. And, uh, Every time I use it, it gives me a great shave. You just gotta be really, really careful with it. I mean, this could be a one, this could be a one pass shave. I mean, that good of a razor. So I'm gonna go ahead and get cleaned up and see if we even need to do a second pass. And that was easily a one pass shave because this razor is, I mean, it's just that efficient. And those of you that have never seen one of these, I'll take it apart. It's just a two piece. Some of you new guys out there and you just put your blade on the inside of here and then snap it together. And uh, just a really, just a really nice razor um, for days when you have you know, a day and a half of growth, two days of growth, that you just want to mow down with one quick shave and you don't want to irritate your face that much. It's the razor for me. It's the one I use anyhow. And uh, I enjoy it. I don't use it a lot. I just know when to use it. That's the thing that I've learned in my shave den is know when to pull out razors. Know when to hold them, know when to fold them, as Kenny Rogers used to say. Know when to walk away, know when to run. You never count your money when you're sitting in the shave den. There'll be time enough for counting when the shaving's done. <laughs> Little Kenny Rogers. He's like Dick Clark. He never ages. All right. So, and you see, this sucker's a lather hog, too. I mean, uh, I'm very blessed to have a really, really good uh, supplier. All right. Some nice heritage gel tips there. So, uh, I'll splash on some of the Barbadoo. I really like this stuff. Uh, just such a, it's got a little alcohol sting to it, but, uh, you really treat your face well. You know, it, uh, it soothes it. It's got a lot of stuff in it, like witch hazel. It's a moisturizing aftershave too. But I also want to, uh, want to put this scent on. This is just, a, oh. I told them I wanted the EDT because uh, I can see spraying this stuff on myself a lot. Mm. Gosh, it smells so good. One of them scents that you can eat or drink, you know, one of those type things. It smells so good. And I'm not over exaggerating. I'm, I'm really, really uh, sincere. So for today's shave, La Bafana, the La Bafana collab brush, the gel tip knot, and the Macor Future Gold with the Astra Superior Platinum. So I wanna wish everybody a uh, upcoming Merry Christmas and a prosperous, healthy, and happy new year. Happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah, whatever you do celebrate. And uh, hope everybody's safe and hope everybody has some great shades and you get what you want for uh, Christmas. Oh, and shout out to these fine folks here at uh, Wet Shaving Products. Mel, Lee, and the gang are good people. I've got several of their things and uh, they were so gracious to send me one of these t-shirts, so I'm starting to wear some of these shirts that have been given to me in my Shea videos. This is a great thing. I want to get back to my videos. That's one thing I've missed, was spending so much time 
producing these brushes and getting them out to people. I miss the uh, Shea videos and talking to people on camera. I love talking to people on camera and sharing my stories and uh, my message and uh, even singing for you. A little bit of Kenny Rogers. So anyhow, I want to thank everybody. Wish everybody the best for the holiday season and take care, guys. Be safe. Bye-bye.